Hello viewers, Alan here. Welcome back to my workshop. This will be a short video where I show you how I fix a problem that's been really bugging me. So I'm going to get straight into it. Okay, so what we've got here is a small, cheap parts washer. It's one I bought from a local auto parts store when I needed the uh, same oh, several years ago. And it's been useful, done a good job for me. But there's one thing about it I've always disliked. The um, pump circulates and squirts out the um, degreasing stuff through a nozzle. It doesn't have a brush thing, and so it tends to splash around the place. And I decided I want to fit a brush thing to it. So I bought this thing off our favourite online uh, auction site, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to fit it and uh, give this part washer the functionality that I wish it had had. So first thing is to drain the fluid out that's already in there and get it ready for doing some work. Okay, so it turns out that I don't need to drain the fluid. After I uh, pulled this out, this uh, draining board I suppose, um, I found that the, uh, the nozzle, the hose and the, the squirter was just a screw fit on the thing that's below the, uh, above the um, level of fluid so I haven't bothered to drain it. So this uh, fitting turns out to be a quarter inch BSP uh, which is a pretty common thing. So um, I don't think it's going to be hard to get an adapter onto the pump. Okay, so this adapter needs to be 35 millimeters long, uh, or pipe fitting, whatever you want to call it. So I've decided to make it out of this uh, 12 millimeter joining nut. So I finish up with a, a hexagon um, on the end and a round bit to stick the hose pipe onto. So let's just cut that off. I'll get us started, over to the lathe. Okay, so I've got the 12mm um, joining nut cut to length sitting in the chuck. So uh, I want to tap the end now for quarter inch BSP. Uh, drill size for that is 11.5. So I'll stick this 11.5 drill all the way through. There's no reason not to. Sit right at the other side. So drill out the way. Right, so I've got the chuck with the tap holder installed. Start with the taper tap. Wind that in. I think we'll do this by hand. Unless you have to go that deep really, I don't suppose. But might as well give it a bit of depth. Right. Okay. Might as well follow that up with a bottoming tap. Right, we'll get this chuck out of the way. Now we just face this off. that with a file I think. So I've changed my mind and I will knock the corners off that with the cutter. Slow it down a bit though I think. Okay so let's put a nice uh, clean up on the outside there. So now we'll just uh, touch the inside with the um, counter sink. Oh, 
should be good enough. Let's finish that end. Yeah, that was pretty good. So now I've just got to um, clean this end up and uh, bring it round back to about there somewhere for the hose pipe to fit over. Actually, let's face that end off first. Okay, and we're going to take the outside down to 16 mil, so I don't need to worry about deburring the corners of that. So, I'll take this out and turn it round. Well, I'll not turn it round, but have less sticking out. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Umming and ahhing about whether to uh, support it with a tailstock centre. Uh, I can't see how supporting it with the centre would be a bad idea. Now let's do it. It's got the right hand uh, cutting tool. Where is it? Oh, let's go with this one. It's sitting there minding its own business. Now, can I get this in there? Let's have this back here. That'll help. Just make it. Yep. Right, got to come in 24. All right, I think we're good to go. We'll drop that speed down. Yeah, it's about where it is, something like that. So I want to finish up a fat 16. Uh, where are we here? We're on 19, yeah, so I can come in a millimetre. Looks like we can come in another millimetre without any trouble at all, but this is to a bit of a read. What have we got? Yeah, we can come in another millimetre. And uh, I think we can up the speed. Let's come up to 600. And... I think we have a bit of uh, drive action too. Um, what are we set on? The CDT, what does that look like? The CDT on one should be alright. Let's see what that looks like. See what we've got. What have we got? 17.4. So we take off uh, another 0.5. Mm -hmm. 16.39, so we can take 0.2 off. So actually, perhaps it's even worth trying it before I go any more. Right, so we just break that burr on the end. Just notice my sleeve hanging down, so I fixed that. Got to watch out for that on the lathe. I've got these um, bankers thing. I don't know what you call them. You know, well, can you see? That? Yeah, they they stop the sleeve flopping around anyway. So I'll put more of a chamfer on later. But for now, I just want to see whether this is anywhere near fitting. 
Oh, that's going to go on nicely. We'll call that done. I could put a couple of grooves on here to um, uh, increase the resistance to the hose pipe for pulling off. But if you can remember, it's an open-ended hose pipe, so it can't ever have much pressure in it. So I won't bother with that. But I will put a bit of chamfer on the end of that. All right, let's see if this works for us. Yep, happy with that. So, that's him done. Right, let's go and try it out. Okay, so here's our, uh, here's the finished piece. And make sure it fits on there. Yeah, that's perfect. Doesn't have to be tied on there, it's going up against some sort of a ceiling washer. And the, the other end of the deal has got to go in there, we've already seen it will go. So I'll find a python clamp to put around there and make sure it doesn't get any silly ideas. Although I'm not actually sure it's going to need it. I don't think it's going to need it, that's a pretty good push fit into that. No, I'll worry about a pipe and clamp if it ever comes loose. So, I'll just uh, turn this on now. Use the spanner to just nip that and make sure I don't over tighten it. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. So we'll reassemble it all. Right. Gloves back on. It's a disgusting looking brew in the bottom of that uh, container. It looks like the fluid level is getting a bit low too. It has been in there for, oh, I don't know, a year or more. It's probably eaten all the paint off everything. Okay, let's put it all back together. Now this should still fit, hopefully. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to have to make that slot bigger, doesn't it? an oversight. It's annoying how that lid wants to try and shut and trap your fingers. All right, well, I have to do that, make that slot a bit bigger. But meanwhile, let's see if it actually works the way we want it to. Alright, let's see how we go. Got my glasses on, just in case something stupid happens. should work out just fine and we do in fact need more goop that uh, that's the pump making sucking noises okay so that's to notch that out to clear around this piece um, and back here I did it wide enough that it fit over just to make it easy to fit I mean I could have left it that width and slipped it on up here and I was mucking around so now I've got plenty of room and all I've got left to do is go and buy some goop to top this up so that the pump isn't sucking air. And jobs are good, as some people seem to say. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.